What's up, you guys? Sorry with a new video today. I'm here to bring you guys uh, Tyler Mocklin's second place San Diego Regionals, a Yangzing Metal deck profile. What's really interesting is that first and second place at this regional were both Yangzing Metal Foes. Pretty crazy when you think about it. This is a 50 card deck, uh, 10 cards more than uh, what Zach Stone played. Uh, but it's amazing to me to think that in another part of Southern California, Yangzing Metal Foes is what took first and second place. You really have to think about that for a minute. Everyone is playing Metal Foes. Everyone is playing ABCs. Everyone is playing Paleozoics. Everyone is playing, you know, the standard decks. And then this deck comes out of nowhere and completely sweeps the regionals. I think that's really cool, and I think it's something people need to take into account, and it's a deck people need to prepare for. Uh, he was nice enough to send me his deck list. Unfortunately, I was only able to get Zach's after the regional. They kicked us out before the last round was over. Uh, but luckily, I was able to find Zach after to get the first place profile. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. A shout out to Tyler. I also have his tournament report and everything that he uh, sent me via Messenger. So I'll be sure to recount that to you guys. But we'll get into the deck list first. For the Metal Foes, he played uh, two Gold Driver, uh, two, uh, was it, uh, two of the Silver Dude, two of the Level 3 Dude, uh, and um, two of the, was it, three of the Steelin. That's it for the Metal Foes. For the Yang Zings, he played the three, the Zephyr ones, the Zephranu, uh, Secret of the Yang Zings. Uh, two copies of, uh, was it Suwani, the fire one, two copies of Dian, the earth one, one copy of Zephroxy, the three Teratop Autotops, uh, one Archfiend Eccentric, uh, one Talking Board, and one Triad Dice to go with the Speedroid package, uh, and two copies of Boxy, the water, the water Yang Zing, and three copies of, of course, Jiaotu, Cards Incredible, and three copies of Chi Win, also incredible. That's it for the monsters. It was 30 monsters for the spells. Pretty simple. One painful decision, one Yang Zing path, two desires, two dark holes main deck, one soul charge, one upstart, one metal foes fusion, two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon, and one copy of Oracle of the Zephra. Uh, for the traps, he ran Torrential main deck, two copies of Yang Zing cre uh, creation, two copies of metal foes combination, and three. Nine Pillars of the Yang Zing, a.k.a. their Infernity Barrier. So that was his main deck. It was 50 cards. For the extra deck, he has one copy of Metal Foes Mithrilium. It does come up, I guess. Since he does have the Metal Foes Fusion, it could randomly come up. Really good card. One copy of Nirvana High Paladin. Um, this must be for like some combo they have. Uh, Zach explained it in the video, so you guys can see that. Uh, one copy of uh, Chao Fang, another good uh, Yang Zing option. One Trishula, one Omega. Three copies of Boxia. One copy of Yazi. Two copies of Danglong. One copy of Herald of the Arc Light, one copy of Hope Harbinger, one Beatrice, and one Breaksword. For the side deck, we have one Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode, and we have a bunch of Kaijus. We have one copy of Gadarla, one copy of Gamma Seal, one copy of Kamungus, a second uh, Eccentric Archfiend, two copies of Maxi, one Crimson Blader in the side. I guess if he needs it in the mirror or something, being able to strike them with Blader basically means you win. Two copies of System Down, two copies of Twin Twister, two copies of Swords of Consuming Light, and one copy of Heavy Slump. This card's really, really cool. They max see you, they're going to draw a ton, you just Heavy Slump them, they lose, so pretty crazy. Uh, so on to his tournament report, he said to me that my only loss of the day was to Zach playing Yang Zing Metal Foes. I lost at round 7, I gave up that match when I realized I lost die roll. I didn't brick, just can't out the huge boarded mirror match. I played versus 3 ABC, 3 Metal Foes, and 2 Mermails. Crimson Blader won me four matches by itself one of the times I did summon it, and it won me the game because opponent thought I was citing ABC Buster and Cherry, so he cited the pot card to counter the cherries. I honestly would drop the Beatrice Heavy Slump in Raw Sphere mode. I would play number 24 instead of Beatrice. I hard drew the Heavy Slump six times throughout the event, and it was honestly the worst thing possible. I usually just OTK'd. If I get max seed, I usually OTK if I get max seed. I'm actually very happy about what happened during my round two. I made Omega three times in one turn. I kept doing this to control the ABC player's grave and, and get rid of letters so I didn't have to deal with the buster. This was in game one. I do have to say I was dumbfounded by, by my unluckiness the, uh, throughout the event involving my dice rolls. I lost all nine die rolls. I won six out of nine game ones going second. So the Dark Hole and MST were good and covered for this. My build is honestly trash. I built it to suit me and my playstyle. This deck is one of the best decks in the format, but sadly the learning curve is too high to play the deck correctly. It took me my, nine months of practice to get second at this event. I'd like to give a shout out um, at least to all my testing buddies at Level Up Gaming and Magic and Monster. Without them, I am nothing. Uh, so that is his tournament report, you guys. Once again, shout out to Tyler Mocklin. 
this deck, like Zach said, you have to be very, very skilled to pilot this deck correctly. There's so many intricate plays, and it has such a high ceiling that, you know, one mistake, you might be done. So I really think that players that are playing this deck and doing well, you really worked hard to get to where you're at because this is not an easy deck to play at all. So shout out to him and shout out to Zach again. You guys did really, really well. First and second with Yang Zing Metal Foes. You know, pretty crazy when you think about it. You didn't prepare for the deck, it's going to swamp you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to smash that like button. Again, shout out to Tyler. Thank you for sending me the deck list, bro. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.